Hello everybody, this is John, the parts guru from Overnight Parts from Japan. Today we're going to be doing a box opening review of, of the Supertech Pistons, part number P4-N895-N11. These are a 20 over forged piston set for the Nissan KA24DE. These are a 10.5 to 1 compression ratio and let's open these up all right first we have paperwork nicely tucked in here we are have our piston to wall clearance information which we will be going over later in the video and getting final bore specifications. Each piston is wrapped individually. These all weighed 386 grams. So let's open one up and get a close up view. These pistons are wrapped nicely. This will protect from any chipping. And here we have the final product. Okay, Supertech says pistons are made from a 4032 alloy with additional copper, nickel, and magnesium that allows for low thermal expansion and features excellent wear resistance. Additionally, they include an enhanced 4032 alloy which offers a much higher thermal conductivity. Using this alloy, the Supertech pistons have withstood up to 42 PSI of turbo boost with alcohol without any problems. As you can see, they laser engrave the bore size and the part number on the side of the pistons here. They seem to have a hard anodized coating and feel sort of like a hyperutectic piston um, compared to like the softer uh, forged uh, bare aluminum material that I've have opened up, like the Manly Pistons, for instance. Now, these were the clips, which this is a nice feature, even though I had a hard time opening it. I was trying not to rip it. Um, they do include 10 clips instead of just 8 in case you lose one or two. They are prone to shoot across the room. Also, wear safety glasses when you wear these. This is a great way to lose an eye when these things shoot out if they do. I've seen it happen in the shop. Um, they're fairly easy to put in, but um, there's a right and a wrong way to do it. Now, these are chromoly uh, wrist pens. They're individually wrapped. Again, I had a hard time, you know, it was the first time I was opening these suckers up, so I was having a hard time <laughs> figuring out the right and wrong way to open these. Um, but here we go. Now, all of their pistons feature reduction grooves and honed and reamed pin bores for the most precise fit. While these wrist pins are constructed from cold extruded chromoly steel for high strength to be used with wire clip locks. I'm reading that right from the website. Sorry if it sounds like I'm reading. Anyways, this is what they look like up close. I've seen highly polished finish. This one has this finish, which is a little different than um, some of the highly polished ones. Um, anyways, that could have been peened or heat treated or cold treated. It sounds like it was um, cold extruded is what it says. So that's the finish we get. All right, now I'm going to open up all of these pistons for photos, and then that way we have a good view from above of all the pistons here. Now this is the clip we use for Instagram and the cover shot. 
They turned out pretty nice, by the way. Very nice, high-quality piston set here. Now I'm going to wrap them back up. Every one of these pistons uh, sticker was identical. Now when I hang these, I'll probably weigh them individually and write the exact gram or tenth of a gram. So here they are on the turntable. As you can see, the laser engraving etched into the side of the piston. There is no molly skirt coating. And in the instructions that I show you, uh, you can subtract four tenths of a thou of the final bore size um, for wear to this. I'll show you right here next. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this video in one take. If I have to do a voiceover, I will. Um, this is the SuperTech piston instruct in installation guidelines. And the first thing it says is piston to wall clearance. This is what we're doing right now. Piston to wall clearance. Uh, we need to know how wide this thing is. And we need to know what this technically says when we put our oil clearance right between, between where this line that says A on it kind of is and the side of the piston wall or piston skirt here. So what they're trying to tell us in this diagram is right here is where we're gonna measure it in this. So, pretty simple. Um, but everything is in millimeters so far, even like this. Uh, if doing break-in, deduct four tenths um, from above. And it says minimum clearance. Oh, here we go in thousandths, I believe. Um, I'm sorry, it three thousandths and one and a half ten thousandths okay so if it's going to be a half this thing only reads into where that one is at so so basically we're going to measure this and get a number and then we're going to add three thousandths and one and a half tenths that is the weirdest thing to say. I rarely go down that small. Um, I go down to tenths. Um, let's see here, I'm gonna be, I just didn't wanna scratch when I came in, so I kinda overdid it here, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at my cue card trying to talk. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm gonna look over this thing. Remember here, A, that means we wanna be down in where my fingers are at, sort of. A. Let's go upside down with it, because that's where I'm gonna be. A. A. Okay. Now I'm gonna do this, because I gotta kinda see above it. And you don't wanna scratch your piston. The other thing I wanna do Definitely make sure nothing's on there. This is probably the highest point. Of the well, this is the highest point of this. I'm gonna just feel for this thing and kind of see where we like to stop. Yeah, moving this just ever so slightly would be a one tenth, which I've shown you in other videos how this thing works. We're right here, ladies and gentlemen. at let's do a live reading of a micrometer eh? okay so we have a three to four inch micrometer so first number is three second number is five next number is it's only one hash mark which that means it is well I don't know if it's quite to it 
We're right at the 21. Actually, it's right under 20. So we're gonna use our tenths meter, which is what I was saying. One increment of these is one tenth. Can't see it in the camera due to the light shining in the face. There it is. It looks like that uh, one. Let's see where that one is. I can't see it through the camera very well. Eight. I believe that's eight. Yes, it's an eight. So we're going to say this is um, 3.50. Oh, no. Two. Zero. Eight. I'm going to write it down. Put it on the screen. Um, and if I just verbally mess that up, then silly me. Anyways, then we add, time out, we're not done yet. Then we add this, and that's gonna be our bore size. That's how you get the bore size. Okay, ta-da.